The ancient Mediterranean world was made up of powerful civilizations spread across three continents that were successful because they traded goods and ideas over thousands of years. But what happened next? To bypass the powerful Ottoman Empire and gain access to the riches of the Far East, European kingdoms sailed west to find new trade routes to China and India, but the Americas got in their way. This new world had vast natural resources they were keen to exploit, so they colonized the land, enslaved the people they encountered, 90% of whom succumbed to diseases the colonizers carried with them, and then they imported millions of enslaved Africans to work the land on their behalf. Over centuries, the Americas, Africa, and Europe formed an integrated system across and around the Atlantic Ocean known as the Atlantic World that saw commodities flow between the so-called Old World and the New. Iron and manufactured items from Europe, raw materials like sugar, rice, and furs from the Americas, gold, ivory, and enslaved people from Africa. New ideas traveled too. In the early 1600s, Europeans began to question their traditional ways of living, based on monarchy and religion, and became interested in nature, science, and democracy. This evolution of thought, known as the Enlightenment, helped prompt English colonists to establish a new country in North America, the United States, a country built on the ideals of freedom and equality. But not everyone there was equal. It would take centuries for free and enslaved African Americans, indigenous people, women, immigrants, and others to gain the rights that the founders gave themselves. What lessons would the people in this new democratic country take from centuries of Atlantic exchanges?